Everyone loves to build robot and currently I'm working on Swarm application which requires a lot of mobile robots. So in this video I will be sharing about how to build compact sized robots even by using the development boards or breakout boards that takes a lot of extra space. So the main steps for building a robot and reducing its size are electronic hardware design based on the requirements, power distribution circuit, the custom body design, 3D printed most preferably, and patience. Let's look into the electronic hardware design first. So in electronics hardware components, we have a microcontroller, motors, motor driver, and a power distribution board. For all of these electronic components, we have certain power requirements, ESP32, motor driver, and CA1235, and the motors themselves are consumers. ESP32 require 5 volts, we will supply motor driver to be running at 5 volts. LiPo cell is the provider and it supplies 7.4 as we will be having 2 cells. Now this power distribution board takes 7.4 and converts into 5 volts then supplied to the required components, the required voltages and the currents. Once all of the electronic hardware design and the power distribution board is finalized based on the requirements, now you design a custom body, most preferably through 3D printing because with custom design and rapid prototyping of 3D printing makes you test different standoff positions, different holes to hold components. In our scenario, our priority was to stack up things and make everything closer to each other while keeping the balance of the robot. We first bring up all of the 3D models available to us for the components we will be utilizing in our robot. When all of the components are arranged, we start to design a robot's body that is going to hold everything up. One of the most important thing is robot's balance and with the help of some standoffs like for this caster wheel, with the rear wheels and the caster are touching the ground on equal levels. We also have the standoffs for the microcontrollers so that we can stack multiple components upon one another and squeeze our robot's design up to the requirements. Now comes the fun part and in which it is very mesmerizing to watch how to build the robot although it took a lot of effort. Main things that you need to keep in mind while designing. The wire passages, the balance of the robot and one advice, do not spend a lot of time on designing components for your robot. Just grab them from Grabcat, Thingiverse and I think Yegi as much as you can obtain and quickly design it. That saves a lot of time. 